Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Johnny's Chop Shop TV. Slightly different video this week, but a really good one. Uh, not so much about the hair on your head, but rather the hair on your face. Using a new product, a beard shampoo, we're going to show you how to get the perfect beard. Is there a minimum length that we need to be working with? Not really, man. If you've got hair on your face, it's considered a beard. So <laughs> my shop is in Stoke Newington. Oh, nice, North, man. North East London. What's the shop called? Pats and Bridges. Oh, nice. Wrapping. Wrapping. Why is it called that? Is that kind of part of the service? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> um, What's the nearest one? The nearest one is probably like 12. Well, let's go in. Uh, oh, look at that. It's not, it's not finished yet. Did that hurt? Yeah. <laughs> that looks so painful. <laughs> There was a secret to growing a beard would all be involved, myself especially. But have you noticed, like, having done this for a little while, is there anything we can do to, like, get that increased growth, like, facially? No. <laughs> the sort of beard care products that are out, you know, they, 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 oh, do, you, do you mean, like, our new beard shampoo? Oh, what? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know we've got a new shampoo out? A lot of people are using sham um, normal shampoos and maybe body washes on beards. And mm. you've got to remember that your beard is actually your face, and you don't want your face <laughs> to get dried out. <laughs> the same way, sort of, you know, a scalp is different, your body's different, your face is different. So it's important to to remember that. Sort of use the right products if you're going to use products. That's a really, and it also smells really nice. And they smell really nice. <laughs> Yeah. On the moustache, because we want to maintain the length through the end, but we want to get rid of the sort of middle section. Okay. I'm just, with my finger, just kind of, kind of flipping it through and going with the direction that the, the hair, we want the hair to go. In. Your beard here and your beard here grows at the same rate. But because of the shape of your face, yeah. obviously the shape, it grows differently. So. Here grows the same, here grows the same. You don't want a big throat beard. So the thing what you want to do is kind of cut all this off and let this catch up. Oh, I this see. This can catch up with the bottom. So come for regular trims, get it sorted. You know what, I'm quite a big fan of the Johnny Depp beard. Are you? Yeah, man. I love how it's just effortless. But I think that he just doesn't do anything. That's just how he is. I know, and I think that's, like, that's, that's one of the things I like about it. That it kind of just looks like he doesn't give a shit. And it looks cool, yeah. Oh yeah, she fangirls on people when they come. When we have guest barbers in. Shut up. That's one of the first barbers I met when I was at the beginning of barbering. Really? One of the first. When you say you met, you mean you stalk. What are you doing with that? So I'm just using it as a lubricant. I mean, you can use it. You can just use water. I see. That's a good you idea. So this, is, so this, is, so this, is, so this would be before you cut through it. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, even guys shaving at home, mm. they can always just use a little bit of beard oil if they just want to like reline their beard. Moisturizes, softens, adds a nice sheen if that's what you want from a beard. That's definitely what I want from this. Yeah. I mean, if you, if, if you want a little bit of a sheen on a beard, then, not, then oil is the way to go. If you want to get the full benefits of a beard oil, you probably want to put it in just after a hot shower when the, when the pores are open and the, okay. the hair is soft. <laughs> right, so we have just cut Patrick's beard. We styled it, chucked some beard oil in it. Now, very exciting. We've got a new product, a Johnny's Chop Shop beard shampoo that Ken is going to chuck in his beard. <laughs> The reason we're using a beard shampoo and not any other shampoos or any other face washes is because, like I've said before, beards are very particular and they're on a male face, not a woman's face, so you've got to kind of consider that when looking after a beard, taking care of it. So first things first, mate, I guess. Get it wet. Yeah. <laughs> you can see how much is in there. Yep. Smells wicked. It actually, it actually feels a lot <coughs> softer, obviously cleaner. If you use any sort of beard oils or products in your beard prior, maybe you're waxing up your moustache and stuff, this stuff's gonna, gonna strip it out a bit. So cool, cool. You wanna just towel dry it well, and then I'll always go to the extra effort of just... Oh, I get a little blow dry. Yeah. 
thanks for coming down and being our Johnny's ambassador. You're welcome. Legend. Yeah, yeah.